In this Andy's Auto Sport Short, we're talking engine management systems. Now, the engine management system is basically the brain of the electronic fuel injection. It has many names. Sometimes it's called an EMS. Sometimes it's called an ECU. Um, different manufacturers have different acronyms and different names. Excels is called a DFI. There's a power commander. So they can all be called, they can be called different names. But basically, an engine management system replaces your factory ECU to control your electronic fuel injection. There are many advantages to replacing your factory ECU with a standalone engine management system. When you replace the factory ECU, you basically have infinite adjustability of every function of the engine and even some bonuses. For example, you can control when nitrous solenoids come on, you can control uh, your boost controllers, uh, also pulse width, you can control basically every function uh, of the engine with a standalone engine management system. Now, when the factory program their factory ECUs, they put in a bunch of safety factors in there, and they were not looking for performance, they were looking for efficiency, which means air fuel ratios are higher than what they need to be in the 14.7 to 1 to 15 to 1 range, so you get better gas mileage. We're not so interested in gas mileage, we want power. So you can get those ratios exactly where you need them to make the maximum horsepower for your vehicle. Another great thing about a standalone engine management system is it makes your other performance parts better. For example, if you buy an air intake kit that promises 10 horsepower, there's a lot more than 10 horsepower to be had if you're using a standalone EMS. Here's how. When you replace your factory ECU with an aftermarket EMS, you have infinite adjustability. So after you do this, you now put a cold air kit on. You can really take advantage of that cooler air by uh, giving more timing, adding more fuel to really take advantage of that cooler charge. Or when you put a set of um, headers on an exhaust system, you can take advantage of that too. Now, because the EMS is infinitely adjustable, you can also turn big parts into little parts. So you got to be real careful about your tune-up. This is where the wideband O2 sensors come in and a good tuning session. You need to sneak up on that tune-up. Um, this is really, really important. So when you buy um, an aftermarket EMS, pick up that wideband O2 sensor to verify the tune-up for it. It's really going to make a big difference in the end. What is the difference between an engine management system and a chip or a programmer? Well, the basic difference is the EMS replaces the factory ECU, whereas the chip and the programmer actually just reprogram your factory ECU. So with the factory ECU, you only have limited access to certain portions of the processor. So in turn, this only allows you to change things like a little bit of fuel uh, management or a little bit of timing and they still keep those safety factors in there in check. So when you compare using a chip or a programmer which uses the factory ECU, there's a whole lot more potential available when you replace that ECU with a standalone EMS. So with a standalone engine management system, you actually have so much tunability that you can actually blow up your engine. This will give you an example of how much tunability you have over a chip or a programmer. Also, how much responsibility and care you need to take in the tuning of that standalone engine management system. So a question we get quite a bit is, if I buy an aftermarket engine management system, do I get everything that I need to hook it up? Well, in some cases yes, some cases no. For example, if you buy an AEM Series 2 system, they have many uh, replacement uh, engine management systems that will actually replace the factory ECU and they'll bolt right into the factory harness. However, if you are building a car or doing an engine swap, then you can buy one of their universal systems and it actually comes uh, by itself and then you buy the harness separately. Now we have those listed at antisautosport.com and you'll be able to find those under engine management systems. Uh, you'll see that on the harnesses you'll have an option on the AEM to have a 24 inch or a 72 inch harness. If you are going to uh, wire your car the best way to go is with a 72 inch harness. You can cut that to fit so you can run the wires and have a real nice clean uh, installation. The 24 inch harness you'll actually probably have to pigtail onto quite a few of these. But uh, on the AEM harnesses all the wires are actually marked so you don't have to worry about having to go here and count pin 3, 4, 5, 12, whatever. They're actually marked on the wire. So AEM does a really good job on their engine management systems. Popular brands that we carry are AEM, Excel, Holly and Edelbrock. We really like the AEM brand because it has the most direct fit applications. Check out the link below to see what we have available for your vehicle. 
We hope you've learned something today and we'll see you on another episode of Andy's Auto Sports Shorts.